I'm right, your girl Tiffany Cameron. You are watching Eddie Vision TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Edivision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. I'm your host, Eddie Guna. This is another one. This time, the JFF. JFF in more hot water. And if you listen, JFF General Secretary Dennis Strong, we think all is well in the JFF. You've heard him mention the success over the last year. And the surplus that was made you know all seem to be going well what is it now according to Dennis Strong we stuck to the budget with our games and controlled expenditure so JFF general secretary says the Federation made significant strides last year with its financial governance and those improvements resulted in a surplus of more than 60 million for the organization. He said they have worked with FIFA to implement proper financial policies and procedures at the JFF and that proper budgeting around games, having a purchase order system and improved partnership with sponsors helped to create financial stability within the Federation. So we had some success in 2023 when we sent off the auditors for auditing it showed that we made a surplus of 60 million we want to ensure we have a strong jff in place because in 2024 we are looking at development of the youth and the only way that is possible is with a strong jff we are more stable than we were in the past i know there are criticisms out there but you have to roll with the punches. People will criticize. We have a budget for this year, but I don't want to see how much as yet. After Congress approves it, the budget will be put on the website. But as far as I see, the future is looking bright. All of this coming from Dennis Trump. People. But what about the players? What about the reggae boys? Players are still owed money so despite all of this nice words you know we're in surplus we're now we, we're now the whole of a tax compliance certificate yip to do yippee where is the money for the players we saw the drama with the reggae girls one party said we don't get any money JFF saying that they sent out the money back and forth back and forth the reggae boys have remained silent for years and people believe it or not the reggae boys are still owed money from march 30th 2022 since the world cup qualifiers they've only gotten per diem and are still owed match fee and appearance fee so all the pretty talk about we're doing this and we're doing that. What about honoring the contract? What about paying the boys? And these are the things. And the JFF will always talk about transparency. So they just brush over the fact that the boys are still owed money. All because the reggae boys have not come out in public and state that. So it's business as usual. We don't have to pay the boys. We don't have to pay the persons that are really the product. Without the boys and the girls, there's no JFF, there's no football. And we've seen oh, mistreatment, miscommunication, mismanagement led to pretty much the destruction of the women's program we're now building from scratch 
we don't want to see this with the reggae boys and the only reason why we're not seeing this at the moment because the boys are looking at the greater good they're this close to qualify for another world cup they're this close to making it to a nations league final and potentially winning it they don't want to throw that away what i'm telling you if this continues you might see a situation like the one with the girls notice the girls did what they did after the world cup you might see history repeating itself this time with the reggae boys after the world cup in 2026 so jff it don't look good don't look good at all you cannot be boasting about change about doing better but yet still the boys are not paid and i know that for a fact so i'm not here to spread any rumors i know that for a fact i've spoken to players same situation jff is now 2024 you have to leave those behavior in the past at least pay the players on time don't wait until the players get fed up please now what say you fans the jff still owe the reggae boys as far back as march 30th 2022 the end of the world cup qualification they're still owed money what do you think about this situation fans let me know in the comment section below I'm Eddie Guna. Thanks for watching. Always remember like, share, and subscribe.